One of many interesting features of Microsoft OneNote is the functionality of checklists. They come very handy wherever you have a list of items you want to be able to mark as done. This is perfect for task lists at your work, but will also be great as your grocery list that you can take with you on your mobile. You can even connect your checklist items with Outlook to create tasks there. How to work with checklists in Microsoft OneNote? To start, we will create a new note page. You can of course add a checklist to an already existing note page, but for the sake of clarity, we will work with a fresh one. You can convert any line in your notes to a checklist item. Just place your mouse cursor there and click on To Do or press Ctrl 1. This will add an empty checkbox to the left of your line. Of course, you can start your list by clicking on To Do or pressing Ctrl 1 with an empty list. It will then create an empty checkbox with the mouse cursor blinking to the right of it. When you have a mouse cursor in a line which is marked with a checkbox and you press enter, your mouse cursor will move to the next line and it will automatically get a checkbox next to it, so you don't have to click to do for each line you need. If you have a list items already in your notes, maybe you have copied them from somewhere else, and you want to add checkboxes to many lines at the same time, you can simply mark these lines and then click on to do. If you want to mark an item as done, you can simply click on the checkbox next to this line and a tick will appear there. Clicking one more time will untick the checkbox. You can achieve a similar effect if you instead place your mouse cursor somewhere in the line you want to mark and click to do. You will see a tick appear there. However, if you then click to do one more time, you will see the checkbox disappear. If you click to do for the third time, you will get back to having an empty checkbox. If you continue clicking to do, you will notice that this cycle repeats. Please remember that everything you do by clicking to do, you can also achieve by pressing Ctrl 1 if you have not changed the default keyboard shortcuts. If you have Microsoft OneNote installed on your smartphone, you can use the functionality of checklist to create grocery lists for your shopping. When you sync your notes to your phone, you will be able to mark and unmark checkboxes by simply tapping on them on your phone. This way, you can simply stroll through the store with your phone in hand and never forget what you were supposed to buy. Of course, changes made on your phone are synchronized with what you see on your computer, so you can easily use that to your advantage. Checklists in Microsoft OneNote have one more interesting functionality. You can mark a specific line of your notes and create an Outlook task for it. To do this, simply mark the line you want to create the Outlook task for and click on Outlook Task button. From the drop-down menu, you'll be able to pick the option that suits you best. For instance, if you want to create an Outlook task for tomorrow, just pick Tomorrow from the list or press Ctrl Shift 2. This will automatically create an Outlook task in the background. If you want to have more control of the details of the Outlook tasks you are creating, instead of picking any of the predefined options, click on Custom or press Ctrl Shift K. This will bring a Create Task dialog to the screen where you'll be able to define the details of your task. The task you have just created will appear in Outlook tasks and, if you have enabled it, in the to-do list. In both cases, when you open the task in Outlook, you'll see that it has a link to the OneNote entry where the task was created originally. If you click on the link, you'll be brought back to the place in OneNote where this line exists. If you hover your mouse pointer over that line in OneNote, you'll be able to see the start and end date you defined for it in the Create Task dialog. You can then work with your tasks in Outlook or the to-do application as you would normally do. When you are done with your task and you mark it as completed in Outlook or to-do, the status of it will change in OneNote too. This will be reflected by a green checkmark appearing next to the line instead of a flag. It can take some time for the status to refresh, so you have to be patient. Updating statuses of tasks between Microsoft OneNote and Outlook works both ways, so if you click on the green tick beside the line of your task in OneNote, it will change it back to the flag icon, which means that the task is not completed yet. 
You can see that this change is immediately reflected in Outlook. You can open the related Outlook task. Just click anywhere on the line for which you have a related Outlook task and click on Outlook tasks, open task in Outlook. This will bring up the edit task dialog where you can work with the details. You can also delete the related Outlook tasks for your items in OneNote. Just click on the line with an existing task for which you want to remove the task and click on Outlook tasks, delete Outlook task. Please note that in both cases, OneNote is clever enough to know if a line has a related Outlook task or not. This will first be marked with different flags besides each line. Lines with related Outlook tasks get a flag when they are not complete and a green tick when they are completed, whereas standard checklist items get an empty checkbox when they are not completed and a ticked checkbox when they have completed. This is however also reflected in the Outlook task dropdown menu. Lines for opening related Outlook task and deleting it are active only if there is a related task, otherwise they are grayed out. We hope that this video gave you explanation and inspiration for working with checklists in Microsoft OneNote. Be sure to check our future videos to get more inspiring information about various functionalities of Microsoft Office.